Hello everyone, so today we will proceed with a tutorial on uh, sub-D modeling. So let's move forward and um, yeah, I'm going the new object which we will try to model. Yep. Let's hook up the color into our shape plane. Reference the plane, great. No, that's not selected. Great, so let's proceed with that. Now we are ready. So I do, I did already a few tests. So I know that I will need a 32 or a 16 or a 24, I believe, axis subdivisions for, for this case. So in order to Tutorial not so quick, so I'll probably take the 32. And as I mentioned previously, I don't like to work with very high uh, subdivision levels, but uh, well, we will do what we will do. And uh, with how to choose what kind of subdivision level you need to use. So, in general, try to look for horizontal and vertical lines and uh, intersection points so basically i want to have one on let's let's imagine that this spherical thing is a one object and this uh cube extended cube is a second object and uh, these two objects need to intersect so basically if you have a cube you want to have a split it in a vertical line yeah so you want to have these lines which will split and you can mirror the object, etc., etc. It will be symmetrical. Yeah. Secondary, uh, you want to have uh, divisions which connect to the corners of the shape. I mean, like this. Wait a second. Okay, so let's move to 44, for example. Like this point and this point will can easily connect with the shape. Yeah. In here, they can connect as well. Where, where, where's that one? Okay, so basically, you have this point, this point connected, this point connected, and this point connected. Yeah. So, in generally, generally speaking, you need to check if you want to quickly create the sub D asset. You want to have enough geometry and uh, without uh, problems, create it. Yeah. If we Let's select it. Who will have a, like I've tried on a 16. You see, it's a pretty big gaps. And you will have distortions on the bottom lines where these two objects meet. Okay, so basically it's in short why and how. Yeah. Okay, let's move forward. And uh, yeah. I will try to snap it in here. Let's make it thinner. Let's select the faces and uh, I will try to scale it to fit this circle area approximately. I'm not trying to be precise. But you know, to be precise, it's, it's very good habit. Okay, so let's make a cube now. Kill it. Okay. So we'll move to side wheel. And uh, probably we need something like this. I will stay on the, oops, I will stay on the grid. Okay. Let's go to the top view. Let's align it. Or I will assign the, the same material blend in order to have it transparent. Yeah. Great. So I will try to give it in here. Yeah. I will play with the scale. But to be honest, I'm not looking in there very closely. I'm looking more in these areas where the points will meet. Yeah. Great. Oh. Something like that.
and yeah it's a bit of game but you know I need to be as close as possible and uh, when I will be merging them I will snap to this uh, to the circle not the circle to the shape yep so we need to be let's say in this case as much as possible accurate because this shape can be distorted okay and um yeah this uh this game it's uh, taking too long so probably you know i will make a central line in here and just connect it i will do connection segment in here and uh probably in here as well and in here one more great so or maybe it was a mistake you know because if you will slide right now the object you see scaling the object okay so it's a bad idea bad bad idea great so what i will do then i am from the top will select with a cut through the lines and try to fix this their scale in here yeah something like that isn't that looking great okay so uh, i don't know i i hope that uh, nobody will notice that that it's some kind of you know a bit wider area when you will smooth it and definitely won't be visible so much great so or if you want you can even scale it to that area but it's really looking not so okay okie dokie so we have these two support clients awesome let's uh we have everything we need from a reference point so what i will do next i will select the blend i will remove the transparency and enable wireframe so right now we can start blocking what do i mean uh, as you can see we have in here okay let's go to the top view we have in here let's say intersection point in here so what we can do i will select the object i will select the cut tool and as you can see i'm not on the rush i'm not trying to to boolean right now i'm trying to make reference points yeah so with good planning you can achieve object faster but yeah you need to have uh let's say brains to think yep great so what you will do next we're making intersection points and uh, not all the time they in the right place yeah okay so um let's see which one these guys will be in the perfect position okay maybe this one groovy okay so we can bend it later on this location that point or even straighten this line great so what's next and uh, definitely we want to have a straight line i mean sharp angle in here so let's bevel and remove the sharp uh chamfer i will always be removing uh offset i want to stay on uh, let's say same pattern right i don't want to uh, have problems with a bevel and uh, scaling uh, manually let's say guessing so what this bevel thing do i mean uh, when you're beveling you have a um, offset distraction so it's counting the length of edge and from that decision making in percentage so i don't like that and i need uh let's say valid numbers not percentage so my approach will be uh like that and will probably all the time will be removing that uh, option great <coughs> so what's next in here probably we will do bevel as well point one okay so we have two 
master clients. Definitely we need connector lines in here. Yeah. And then it will be a connector. And definitely one for a support. Yeah. Okay. So what's in this area? We have here a middle line. We have in here this line which need to be uh let's say which should move through the surface yeah so great let's add it to lines for example yeah and just align it and was that wonderful great <clears throat> from the image you can see that this uh corner and this corner have uh let's say like a double like a some kind of roundness so we will do a laser a bevel like that. Yeah, great. Okay, we need connector line in here too. Let's select it. And uh, yeah, align it. Wonderful. What's next? We have uh, going pretty good so far. We need two lines which will climb over this construction. Yeah. Okay, so let's select our cut tool. Okay. This so looks like we have uh, some kind of okay I will try to align it in there. This one in there. Let's check it out. Let's look from the top. Okay, from the top is looking pretty good you're aligning yeah as you can see I'm just creating the loops yeah and uh, to be honest I really love this technique because before you do any decision I mean like a boolean which will uh, really impact the shape and it will start different modeling and uh, different approaches you can just play with two meshes, align the lines, simple like that, and to pull it and just connect the dots, and you will get that shape. You will get everything what you need. So, at least from my perspective, I really, really love that approach. However, if you will, uh, uh, sometimes uh, you can do a mistake, yeah. So it can be painful. If I, for example, will draw the line in here. Or you know, I would probably show you a little bit later. Or oh, okay, okay, let let let's try. So, if at the beginning I was making this line like this, in order to have a you know good reference point where the all dots meet, yep. And uh, if I will do that, and after it, I want to create a uh, loops like this yeah yes nice loops i could not do if i first at the first instance i will make that one so we need to make sometimes uh, let's say decision which uh, operation you need to do first okay i will do the splitting here because i want to mirror this object and, and i don't want to play all the time with the same Problem. I mean, uh, with, uh, all this and uh, divisions and selections and etc. Okay, so let's select all these dots and center, uh, merge to the center. I will select all these dots as well and go and merge to the center. Merge to the center. Great. So in here, I will select the edges which I really don't need and just merge it. Okay, so we have this object. Um, Almost prepared for a yeah, not not prepared still. Okay, so what I will do, I will do the same thing at the bottom, but uh, I want to have uh, some offset in here, just in case, you know. So let's select line here, line in here. Line in here and line in here. 
Great. So let's go to the vertex points, select them all, merge it. Select them all, merge it. Okay, and get rid of this artifact. Nice. Okay, so, um, yeah, basically, right now we have uh, the support client where we can see how our flow will go. And um, basically, now we need to decide uh, this mesh when will be combined. The flow of the edge of the reflections, I mean, will go like um, around the shape or simultaneously with this, um, let's say, with this shape, like a seamless, seamless object, yeah. So, I don't know, I like when it looks like a seamless and the flow will go through the object. However, if you want, you can select Boolean like this and just uh, perform the Boolean operation and you will go, uh, you will get that flow. I will probably uh, will move with uh, this direction because really I like it better and uh, mm, I believe, at least for me, it will look honest better. Okay, so what I've just put it, I don't like this area. I mean, um, how um, soft this, um, let's say, transition will be, and um, I don't know, maybe I want a bit bigger transition, but uh, I've checked it that it doesn't look so pleasant. Okay, so great, let's move forward, and uh, what we need to do, we have in here line, yeah? So what we can do, we can shoot it straight in here, yeah? Very good. And uh, no, it's not so great, but not placed correctly, yeah? Okay, let's place it pretty close, down here and down here. Okay, so from this second area, we'll do the same. Great. Awesome. Okay guys, so we almost prepared to perform fully on operation, yeah. And uh, boom. Okay, great. So probably I will do the safe, you know, <laughs> just in case. Okay, so let's try to do. Okay, great. So um, let's select both of them, clear everything, and um, yeah, we can go and perform Boolean operation. Awesome. And right now we need to check. As you remember, in here I was marking the line where will be that reference line. Yeah. Great. So basically, what we can do now, uh, in general, doesn't do any big difference. No, probably I will delete that uh, side with a reference thing. Wait a second. So I need to delete this line probably. Yeah. Okay. So we need to remove this one. Don't be scared. This is a camera. Okay, so just duplicate and flip it over the scale X, merge it, combine, and uh, merge it. Great. So let's check for uh, errors, and right now we probably will use the mirror X in order to work uh, simultaneously on, the bo on both sides. We need to uh, fix the errors. You can see where the object not emerged properly. Yep. Okay, so let's go to the code draw tool and uh, let's try to connect the dots, let's say, yeah. Great. Do we have any errors? 
Any more errors? Okay, and um, I, to be honest, now if we need that land at this moment, so just in case, if we will need it, we will create it. Right now, I'm thinking how to make this bevel. So let's try to do it. Maximum something like that. Okay, it's aligned with this area. I like it. Great. So probably four segments will be perfect. And you know, probably in here we can make that uh, middle line. So great. We'll just uh, add a cut to the line. And uh, let's connect in there. And uh, Jesus Christ, and uh, this one in here, great. Right, and we can, as it's a quad, we can select and make this thing. But you know, maybe I will late. Uh, I will do it later. Right now, it will be good as it is. Okay, in here will be very bad reflections. Yeah. Okay, so let's go and. Uh, and uh, modify our blend material on it. So go a little bit darker, and uh, let's increase the specular roll off rate. Yeah, in order to see how the and you see right now how how ugly it is. So probably we will merge, or we will try to um, do a different solution, or we will uh, do the spacing in this area. Yeah. Okay, great. But for now, it will be like that. And um, one more thing we see is the jagginess, etc. And um, yeah, maybe it doesn't look so pleasant. So let's go to the um, mesh display and uh, let's click on the square with uh, Shift and Control. And you will add this um, thing, uh, this icon, this um, command to your shelf. Let's select the object, click it, and uh, we can soften the edge. 45 degrees angle is perfect. Okay, in this scenario. Great. And definitely you can modify it. Okay, so let's proceed. Let's work on that. And we need to connect all the dots. Yeah. Great. Now, probably we will start thinking about the bevel lines you okay, know probably I will try to add it in here and this is how it will look okay okay I'm just testing. It will be stretching, but oh well. Okay. It depends how much you can allow the stretching. But uh, yes, yeah, so we can see that we have an error in here, so that's merge it or delete it. Okay. Do we have any errors in here? No. So we see far. Great. Okay, so um what I'm thinking about it's um uh, probably this flow. I mentioned it we can choose this flow or uh Let's say around the shape. So I want to flow through all the objects. We will see if it will crash or not. We will try to perform this operation. Okay, this one looks fine, and just press it. Okay, Control B, 
and let's expand this thing. And yeah, it's a pretty small bevel. Mm -hmm. It's point one. So do that point one direction. Very good. Looking great. Mm -hmm. For the chamber. So it looks pretty noisy for the chamber. Okay. But I don't know. Okay, no, I don't like to be honest. The chamfer off, or maybe you know, I will try to do on all of the things in here too. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's try. It. Okay, let's go back probably and you know I will assign this lines as well. Yeah, and let's do bevel again. Preset fraction point one and uh, let me see what do we have? We have very sharp edges. Why not we have better technology? We have that. No, we don't have that flow as you can see. Spinning around the object. Okay. And to be honest, this should be okay. But we need to have a very thing here.
Okay. Okay, so basically right now I'm just tweaking and uh, fixing where um, let's say where I can see quads and just fix uh, triangles and just creating quads. Simple like that. I'm trying to check if the flow or uh, Okay, you can see that uh, there's something down here. So what we can do, we can connect it in here, for example. Disconnect in here. Don't know if it will be best solution, but uh, Mm -hmm. Let's think about this. We have a um, area we, where we can go with a new flow. Yeah. So basically here as well the same situation. Mm -hmm. Create that one. That is this part. Okay. Very good. Let's check this out. What we can do it here in order to help these lines. Great. So back here. Something like that. You could just delete it and uh, all this object same thing. We can just go do this line and uh, try to have a bit of a flow. Close this area. Great. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, and uh, maybe I will need to this one. It's very cool, but uh. Cannot see in here any spots. We'll do the same thing in here. Just uh, we'll try to put it in here. Just like that, probably. Just complete it into a quad. Good. Okay, so if you will see any error, let me know. I see in here the triangle, which can be fixed easily. 
of maybe not using it, but you will. Okay. And what about this area and this area? Let's straighten them. Okay. And it's looking great. And definitely you can go and uh, throw the loop in here and you will fix it. However, you can. You know, we can do different thing, or you know, we can just delete it. Something like that. Let me check what kind of impact that line had. Not big one but uh, yeah so we can create a proper loop in here okay and that's it and we don't care yep okay just just create a loop in here awesome do we have any other reflection except this area In here definitely we have a small distortions, but it's 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 you know just do that. Okay, so we in here have a quads in the opposite side we don't have it, so we need to fix it. We can have the Distribution in here as well as I did in distribution, do a lot of things too, you know. I mean, the spacing between the, the edges, so basically, you can just fix it in the same manner, uh, just like I did in this area. So, I will probably pause because this tutorial is uh, very long. Already, okay. So now what we'll do? Select this one. Let's try to. No, we can't. This particular area. Okay, let me see how it will look if I. Will. No, and I do not like. Okay, so what I will do? I will merge them back. Yeah, I know how. Strange it sounds, but oh well. I need to have a. Uh, I need to do the scale in here and uh, uh, select it probably something. Oh, okay. Let's go up and uh, let's do scale and try to extrude it in here. And uh, probably. The a lesser skill then. Oh, let me check the image. Whoops. And uh, where's our guy? This is something like that. Okay. Okay, we can again remove all joy. How many we have um, on this? Uh, whoops. As you can see, we have a problem. Great. Can delete that line, but we will still face the issues. Okay, but. We will try, we will try. The issue is that the this dot is not aligned with the surface, but we will fix it, as you can see. Okay, so let's do another extrusion. Awesome. We need, uh, again, 
let's do the bevel here about counter point one no okay, in this area probably I won't use this thing okay so let's select this let's select all this edges and just do bevel that's it and uh, if you will see that artifact that mean that you don't have enough geometry so you get the bevel yeah about chamfer remove this probably line okay as you can see everything fixed smoothed yeah basically this is it i will just go through areas and uh, check where's not quads and uh, yeah i will try to fix it so as you remember in here this problematic situation same fix as per this area okay let's give it a shot okay so this area definitely we can delete that that uh no that line let's say and in here as you can see even triple edge jesus christ we can just try to connect connect it yep so probably i will connect them let me whoops do not have a symmetry okay so let's try to connect and check what do we have in here in this area the same thing we'll just connect and uh, probably what i will do definitely i can you know connect it and uh, do the quad in here as a supportive line like that let me see how it will look okay let's undo so you have time labor that too and uh, definitely with this area can snap down here and uh, oh we don't have a symmetry selected Okay, so we can select these two guys and then uh, with a shift and control can try to slide over the surface and try to distribute that in the surface in order to do not get so pinchy thing in the in your object same in here just select it control shift right here move it into the center let's say between and check it out helps helps is great not you can go with a different solution okay so um this one, one base, this one, no. Okay, let's, um, let's try to fix that. Okay. And, uh,
Okay, so match this out, and we have this line, so we can go and rotate it down here. Delete this thing. Maybe slide it to this area. This one will be two. We don't need this one. Yep. And uh, yeah, probably I will merge you know with these guys in here too. Let me see how to look. And I will merge it. On the bacon pack, that's it. And uh, yeah, basically, what we can do, uh, let me here uh, this line and try to lead it. This corner. Okay, so basically, as you can see, it's like that. We have everything from the quad. At least, I hope that everything is in the quad. And um, yep. Okay. Okay, I can see I have an error. And by the way, if you want to check, do we have everything in quads? Let's select match uh, polygons. Concave okay, faces. This is the small faces to go. Non planar faces. Uh, okay, so let's check. Do we have any errors? Okay, so as you can see, we have triangles in here, and definitely we can easily fix that. Just like that. And I was thinking that I did it already. Okay, but uh, oh well. Okay, where do we have more triangles? Okay, we need to select each second and we get a part. Great. Okay, we're still looking for a triangle. Yeah, same situation for each second. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Right here, we can create a looping here, probably. And uh, probably I will scale it up a bit like that, and uh, then I will create this connection line for a flow. Okay. 
Not bad, not so bad to be honest. Can be worse. Okay, so do we have any obvious triangles or we have something in there? Something in there. We can check it a little bit later. Right now, looking into the our most completed. Cool. Great. And why doesn't delete the history? Okay. okay, guys. So yeah, this is a pretty long tutorial. However, uh, as you can see, it's uh, not everything can be done in a few clicks. So uh, yeah, and uh, when you are talking on the strategy, you got some crashes. At some time, you can uh, that uh, your tutorial will be longer. You know. Great, so thank you for your time and I uh, hope that this tutorial was informative for you and uh, and uh, probably this uh, small issues which I don't like as always because I always do not like something and uh, yeah, we basically we can see some kind of change or something like that but uh, yeah, oh well, we created this thing, this I don't know, you will see this is uh, from the radio. I don't know, it's not a button, it's something. Yeah, so okay, stay tuned, cheers, and goodbye.